Hey everyone, Reese here from Reese Where's My Spoon. So I know it's been a minute since I've posted anything. That's because my laptop decided to break at the most inopportune time. But I'm back and so we're gonna start today off with a lot of bang and a lot of flavor. So Reese, what are we making today? We are making my famous tandoori chicken. I say famous because a lot of my relatives in South Africa have made it and have loved it. So this is a foolproof, delicious recipe. Well, we're actually gonna be trying two different methods. One is gonna be tr the traditional oven that everybody has in their home. The other method is gonna be using the Ninja Foodie. So I got this a couple months ago. I've been probably using it half and half in comparison to my regular oven. It definitely is faster. I'm definitely enjoying it, but I'm also trying to break it in more, kind of figure out its functions a little better. Um, so we'll be trying two different methods to make this tandoori chicken. So go to your grocery store, grab all the items on my grocery list, and let's make some tandoori chicken. So here's my meat. It includes four chicken thighs with skin on and bone in and two chicken breasts, boneless and skinless. Next, you're gonna take your dry rub, which includes one and a quarter teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon paprika, and two teaspoons lemon juice and a quarter teaspoon salt. You're actually gonna mix the lemon juice in to make a little paste and you're gonna rub it onto the chicken. Just going to speed things up here because you'll get the gist of it. Just throw the dry paste on and rub it all over the chicken. Now you're going to prepare the marinade. This right here is all the spices listed in the marinade combined. And um, so that includes the chili powder, the red chili flakes, the pepper, garam masala, coriander powder, cumin powder, salt. And then you're going to take the red food coloring, the lemon juice, the olive oil, the garlic, the ginger, and the yogurt. And you're gonna mix it all into the chicken. So this is a sped up video of me marinating the chicken. That's the yogurt. That's Elena. That's the minced garlic. That's the minced ginger. That's the lemon juice. And Elena in the background playing with her dad. That's the olive oil. And that's the dry rub and the red food coloring, which again is optional. Give it a nice, good mix. You definitely want to be thorough and make sure it's completely evenly coated, scraping down the sides of the bowl. That's how it should look when it's done. I cover mine with plastic wrap and then put a lid on it just because I don't want my lid to get any food coloring. Say hello to foodie. This big guy looks very intimidating and very scary, but I promise he doesn't bite. He does punch. A lot of flavor, that is. For this portion of cooking the chicken, you're gonna need this little tray, which you're gonna place inside. Don't forget to spray your tray with some cooking spray. And you're gonna place your chicken on top. Spray. Wanna make sure it's all non-stick there. So, I have a mix here of bone in thighs with skin. So to be precise, I have four pieces of thighs with skin and I have two pieces of breast. Now, the problem with breast is it does dry out very, very quickly. So my recommendation is definitely go more with the dark meat, but you know, I like to live life a little bit on the edge see if you can get them all to fit nice and evenly. So this is what it looks like from the top of the Ninja. What we're gonna do is we're gonna close the lid. Turn Senor Foodie on. Hit the air crisp button at 390 and we're gonna do it for 20 minutes. We are gonna stop it halfway through to check on its progress. So sorry, I know there's a little glare here and it is backwards, but yeah, so we just hit power, we hit air crisp, change the timer to 20 minutes, and then we're gonna hit the little play button. So after about 10 minutes, we'll come back and check on its progress and flip it over. So similarly, we're just gonna take a normal tray, 
spray it down to make sure the chicken does not get stuck. We're gonna take our chicken We'll save some of this marinade as well to place on some of the other chickens when we flip it. But it has been marinating for a few hours, so this will get so place it in the oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Let it cook for about 30 minutes. I like to give it a turn at 15 minutes. We'll check on its progress. As usual, we'll be monitoring. Um, yeah, so let's pop this baby in. So now we are actually sauteing some onions here because I love going to an Indian restaurant and having some onions sauteed along with my chicken. We're also gonna be serving it with some chopped cilantro and some lemon slices. We're gonna have some garlic naan and we're gonna have a salad. So the key with sauteed onion, let's cook it on low so that it extracts all the sweetness. You don't really want to burn, I mean, you can. I like it burnt on my burgers. But for this, I think it's especially nice to have something sweet along with the spicy. So we're gonna let that hang out and cook until it becomes a nice golden brown. It smells really good. Time to check this, open it up, see its progress. So this is after 10 minutes of air crisping the tandoori chicken. You already have a nice char, which is amazing. So we're gonna flip this and we're gonna let it cook the rest of the 10 minutes. So as you can tell a huge difference in terms of the air fryer versus an oven, we don't have any char here yet. Um, we'll have to kind of do that separately. So let's give this a quick turn and then give it another 15 minutes and then I'll show you how I char my chicken. Guys, I'm a little nervous right now because our first judge just showed up and wants to say, hi, are you ready for some good food? Are you ready for some good food? Say hi. When foodie is done with the last 10 minutes of cooking, you'll see three pieces of beautifully charred chicken. They look absolutely perfect. So really all you need is 20 minutes of cooking, 10 minutes per side with a nice flip and you get some beautiful chicken. Meanwhile, our other chicken is still in the oven cooking. That's why I love this. And if you close the lid, it'll just keep it warm. And we don't have to worry about it until we're ready to serve. So here are the three pieces of chicken out of the conventional oven. So you can definitely see a difference between this and the foodie. The foodie does char it a bit more. Other differences we can see between the oven and the foodie is that the Ninja foodie does cook it a lot quicker than a conventional oven. So we don't really have to worry about chicken being cooked. The Ninja foodie does it all for you. So then you'll want to garnish with some of the lemons that you cooked in the oven and some cilantro. So this is a Ninja Foodie after garnishing and ready to serve. And this is the conventional oven. So here's a closer look at the chicken we cooked in the Ninja Foodie with the garnishments and accompaniments. And here is a look at the conventional oven chicken. Both look really, really good. To be honest, it's just a matter of preference and whether you want to cook faster and whether you have a lot of time. But to be honest, both were a great option. In terms of which one was the winner, it was definitely the Ninja Foodie just because it added a little smoky flavor with the char.